Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. I am finally back here in Pretoria after my little holiday in Cape Town last week. Thank you all so much for supporting the uh, kitchen videos as well as the videos that came out that we got done ahead of time while I was on holiday. Really appreciate all the support. In case you missed it, you can check them all up in the top right hand corner. Yeah, just go, go look at our previous videos. Also subscribe if you haven't already and just watch our videos anyways, please. Anyways, let's talk about today's video sponsor after, before we get into all the hot news. And today's video is brought to you by FreshBooks, my friends. It's the cloud-based invoicing and accounting software that helps to make sure that your business is going the way that it's supposed to. Whether you need to track receipts, whether you need to make sure that you're invoicing clients and find out whether or not they get the invoice so that they don't cheat you out on payments and be like, we never got it. But you can be like, I have the read receipt, you lie. Not only can you make sure that you can track your invoices, but typically you get paid two times faster because of the way FreshBooks allows you to do things and you can create professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. It's super intuitive. The software is super intuitive, grows with your business and makes sure that you have everything you need for your up and coming company, whether you be a tech channel like us or you're selling laundry pods any way you want to go. That's the FreshBooks is there for you. So check it out at freshbooks.com forward slash UFD tech for a free 30 day trial, no credit card required. And you can join the 24 million people who have already checked it out. Again, that's freshbooks.com forward slash UFD tech and make sure you enter UFD tech in the how did you hear about us section. So check it out, link in the video description. But now you know what you should be checking out news about AMD Ryzen. We got Ryzen 3000 news coming out a lot, actually. There's a whole bit of separate rumors and leaks and information that's actually coming out. And the latest is that AMD appears to be dropping their price on Ryzen 2000 series chips worldwide. So this isn't exclusive to Amazon. This isn't exclusive to one retailer. It looks like the pricing on chips like the 2700X, the 2600, basically the entire 2000 series lineup are being dropped. If you look at Amazon, on right now, the 2700X, eight cores, 16 threads, is going for $290, which is well below its MSRP. The Ryzen 7 2700, $220. $220 for an eight core CPU. That is insane, which could indicate to a lot of people that AMD is trying to clear their inventory ahead of some sort of launch that they may be doing. Now, the initial rumors of the Ryzen 3000 series chips was that we're gonna get them in June or July with the Computex announcement. However, there are plenty of rumors floating out there that they might potentially be trying to launch at least a couple of chips on their May 1st birthday, celebrating 50 years of being a company. So that's something that we could look out for. So not only are the prices dropping, which if you wanna buy anything on Amazon, you can use our affiliate code down in the video description if you're looking to pick up a really good Ryzen 2000 series chip right now, Anyways, there's not only the price drops that's going on, but we've also gotten a leak for the Asus X570 motherboards, which include the Crosshair 8 formula, the Crosshair 8, all of their different ranges, the Hero, the Impact, the Rock Strix, X570, E, F, and I, and then all of the other ones that you could expect. So we've gotten CPU price dropping, we've got X570 motherboards dropping, and then last week we also reported on the fact that several different motherboard vendors are releasing BIOS updates that include Illusion to the brand new processors that should be coming out. And in this tech power up article, which we'll leave a link for in the video description for you guys to check out, it looks like in the just BIOSes that have been released that there's gonna be a different setup for overclocking for the Zen 2 CPUs, including things that allow you to run Infinity Fabric at half the speed of the memory that it currently is so that you can get faster memory overclocks without oversaturating the Infinity Fabric, which is what was causing memory overclocking issues on previous Ryzen setups so that if you have let's say a CP or a memory overclock of 3200 megahertz typically infinity fabric would run at 1.6 gigahertz well now you can half that as well so you could actually raise the memory even further and it's not bound to infinity fabric anymore anyways there's a whole bunch more that's actually really good in this in-depth article so I'll leave a link in the video description if you guys are at all interested in that and then finally there has also been a leak of this is slightly related but not really because it's not not Zen 2, but it is Ryzen 3000. It's their Picasso APUs. There's been a benchmark spotted with the Ryzen 7 3750H and a GTX 1660 Ti in an Asus laptop. So if you're at all interested in picking something up like that, AMD graphics card or AMD CPU with an NVIDIA graphics card in a laptop, I'm 
Dang, what year is it? Obviously, all of this could just be pointing to the fact that every every company is getting ready for it, but we're not near an announcement. Or it could just be that these are all major coincidences and they have nothing to do with one another. And if you just wanna pick up a good Ryzen processor, you can do so for cheap right now. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be asking the question, should I pick up a Ryzen 2000 series with the Ryzen 3000 series being so close to launch? And the answer is, that's up to you. Honestly, we have this conversation anytime there's a new product that's coming out, there's always something new around the corner. So you have to take the assessment. Would you be satisfied with a 2700X right now? Would you want eight cores, 16 threads at the clock speed that it delivers? And are you okay paying $290 for that? If you can answer yes to those questions, there's no reason to wait for Ryzen 3000. It's the same thing that I answer whenever somebody asks me, is it worth it? Are you okay with paying this price for what you get? then it doesn't matter what comes out afterwards because you've in fact paid the price and you've got the value that you are expecting. Future value doesn't change the current value that you actually receive, at least in my opinion. A lot of people don't live their lives that way and so they wait for things and then they're constantly waiting. But from my perspective, I'm okay with jumping on things now. And then if I want that in the future, I'll try to figure out how I can get that later. Let's move on to something pretty cool, which is the Tesla suit. It's a haptic feedback suit that you wear for VR that has vibration motors. It also has like heat generation to kind of like heat up different parts of your body as well as somehow transmitting cold sensations. I'm not sure how it does that as far as like, unless it's just air that it blows. Anyways, it just won the Red Dot Design Award. It looks pretty cool. Probably gonna be insanely expensive, but it's how we get to Ready Player One, which I did not enjoy as a movie. That movie sucked. That movie was terrible. And there's also a review by I think Quentin Reviews, I'll leave a link up there, where he actually advocates that the book sucks too. And after listening to his reasoning, I was like, huh, he's a little right. Anyways, neither here nor there. Let's talk about Intel and their GPUs. We've got several different iterations of Gen 11 graphics cards released in the latest Intel drivers. In fact, it's 13 different variations that are gonna be based on like Intel Iris Pro with different execution units. So if you're at all interested in that, we'll leave a link in the video description for you to check out all of the ones that exist there. But let's speak about Asus motherboards again because there's a new BIOS update for the 300 series chipset for Intel that shows that they're getting ready for Intel to release new CPUs based off of the Coffee Lake refresh. So we have no idea when they're coming, but there's in, they're in the Asus BIOS update. So there you go. And then something that I, I guess, tongue in cheek predicted back when Activision laid off all of their employees, I was like, haha, EA's, EA's gonna do that too. Well, unfortunately, my, my jest at that time has come true. EA is laying off 350 employees amidst internal restructuring is what they say. That is after they report that they are making buttloads of cash. I just think that's the, that's the company structure everybody should be going for. You make as much money as possible, you cut as many employees as you can, and then you enjoy all of the profits. That was step number three for the underwear gnomes. Is that what they were? Or were they socks? They are socks. Okay, sock gnomes. Dang, my South Park memory is no good. In case you care about Hitman at all, they are releasing an update that gives you Direct X12. Cool, because it only launched with DX11, even though the original Hitman had DX12. Anyways, neither here nor there, but Bethesda is releasing a bunch of games to Steam, including Fallout 76, which I'm not sure if you can consider that a game. It's more just like an open, desolate wasteland of computer environment. Oh wait, that's what Fallout is. You made your own game. It's a meta thing, whatever. Anyways, Doom Eternal, uh, Rage 2, all coming to Steam, so that's pretty cool. And then if you want a new Lord of the Rings game, that's, that's what we're getting. Lord of the Rings Gollum is apparently going to be coming out in 2021 thanks to Datalik. I looked them up, they have not made a game that I have heard of at all, so I don't know. Anyways, they, are, uh, they only own the rights to the books, not the movies, so they're gonna have to come up with their own interpretation of Gollum and not necessarily the Andy Serkis one. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm not necessarily stoked for it because I mean there have been bad Lord of the Rings games. The ones for PS2 were pretty good. So Return of the King, Two Towers were really good action games and then The Fellowship of the Ring was actually um, an, an adventure game, yeah. not not a fighting combat one. So they, they were all good in their own right. I can't remember which one was the best. I'm sure you guys will inform me. And then Final Fantasy 15 releases its DLC for the last time episode Arden coming out. So if you care at all about plot points that were never explained in the game, play the DLC. But you know what you shouldn't do? Update Final Fantasy X, because for the first update in years to the HD remasters on Steam, 
they made it so that you can't play offline anymore. There's an online DRM now required for the game. That's bullcrap, Square Enix. Fix that. Don't do this. Hogwash, stop it. And then Huawei uh, unveiled the P30 Pro yesterday. Some people are saying that this is the best gosh dang camera that they've ever seen on a smartphone. 10 time, uh, it's hybrid zoom. So it's like a mixture of optical and digital. Anyways, it's uh, some secret sauce that's really glorious. And uh, a lot of uh, photographers and a bunch of people are saying that it's, it's, it's amazing. So cool. But you know what's not amazing? They just released new wireless headphones and you plug them into your phone to charge them, not to listen on music, because there's no headphone jack. That hurts me. It does. I don't even have a statement. You have to, so dumb, We've go, we're going backwards and forwards all at the same time. And then there's been rumors floating out around there. I think it was started by the Wall Street Journal who indicated that we should be getting two updates to the Nintendo Switch coming this year. One of them being a smaller kind of 2DS replacement, which doesn't have detachable Joy-Cons, more for like kids to abuse and use or a cheaper alternative for like your you know significant other to have one or your best friend to have one and it's just like a good gift and then the second one will be like a replacement for the 3ds is what i've been reading so it's beefier hardware more setup it will be really cool anyways if you care about the nintendo switch check the news sometime soon anyways that's where i'm gonna end hot news today today for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hot News. Don't forget today's video is sponsored by FreshBooks. In case you're running a business and you need invoicing and expensing software, check it out at freshbooks.com forward slash UFD tech and enter UFD tech in the how did you hear about us section and get 30 days free. No credit card required. Why would you want to put in your credit card if you're just trying something out? FreshBooks understands that. They don't make you do it. Anyways, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content and the moving vlogs that are coming soon because I, in my infinite wisdom, decided that I will go on holiday and I will move the week I get back. In fact, I will make sure that we start moving before I even get back so that there's chaos in the office. We have no videos prepared ahead of time to make sure that we're ahead of schedule and we're just completely flying by the seat of our pants. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.